Hey everyone, so this is part two of my deco art review. Um, I've let this painting dry for about, oh, probably about eight days. I don't normally um, varnish that soon, I usually wait two weeks, but I wanted to get this review done. So what we're going to do with this painting is the deco art clear pouring top coat. And according to the directions, all you need to do is pour it on and tilt your painting. And after you get everything covered, set it at a 45 degree angle to dry so the excess can drip off. So, but I first want to tell you about this painting. Um, this was all done with deco art paints, not the paint colors that they sent me because they were putrid. I got yellow, green, and pink, so they were no way were, was I doing a painting with those. I would have gotten mud, mud. So I did use um, a coral color, a gold, a plum, and a white. And I did use silicone. And the cells on here are beautiful. Those are the size cells that I like and the definition of the cells and the different colors that show up in the cells. So I'm going to give their pouring medium an A+. Um, and I probably will be pur purchasing some um, for commissioned work. Um, but just for me painting every day, I'll still use my um, glue and my Floetrol because it's expensive. That pouring medium, medium is very expensive. And you have to use equal parts with paint. So that little eight ounce bottle that I had like this, um, I have less than half a bottle left and all I did was this one painting. So keep that in mind. Um, if you're gonna purchase it, you might wanna get big bottles or see if they come in gallon jugs because you'll go through it pretty quick. So, unless you do little paintings, then you'll be all right. <laughs> but let's get this started. So I'm gonna do exactly what they told us to do. And I'm just gonna pour a good amount on there. It's about the thickness of watered down glue. And you can see that it doesn't run real fast. But we're just going to move it around, and I'll probably have to add more. We'll see. And I'm going to do the sides with my finger. It says you can use a palette knife or a brush, but I'm going to use my finger. Anne Marie um, Ritterhoff had used this, I was, it was over a month ago, I would say. I think they had sent her some to try and the result was beautiful so this should leave a nice um, glaze on the top I'm gonna need a little more um, as far as odor Nah, not bad. It's nothing that um, takes your breath away. Not real stinky. So I'm hoping I cleaned all the silicone off of this pretty good. I did it twice, so um, two baby powder cleanings, cornstarch cleanings, and then wiping it off in between with a wet paper towel and then I cleaned it with alcohol. Just got to get that corner. It's very slow moving so you have time to look at your piece while you're doing it to see if there's anything you need to fix. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side while I wait for it to come over the corner on this side. I 
I didn't want to put a ton on here because it's just going to drip all off. So. Waste, it would be very wasteful. I'm not sure how fast this will dry either because it's pretty thick. Two more corners. <laughs> And you can pick it up from there. It's not contaminated. <clears throat> oh, I might need a drop. Okay, one more corner. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on there because I'm going to leave that side as my angle. I'm going to use all this runoff to get my side. So it feels like it's all covered. I don't have any um, silicone resistance, so that means I got it all off. I'll tip it this way. So that's all you have to do. And just leave it. My curiosity has me wondering, um, is it going to actually drip off of the canvas or am I going to have a bunch of uh, drip marks here? So on the next video, um, we'll get to find that out. I will um, make sure I post the finished result. I'm just double checking, make sure everything's covered. Everything looks good. So that's it guys, just pour it on, move it around. It looks very milky right now. Um, I'm hoping that, that some of that will slide down and drip off. I have a good, a uh, little over a quarter of an inch there, so it has room to drip and nothing's touching the plastic. So I'm going to leave this to dry, and we will see the result on the next video, and um, we'll go through all the products again, and that way you can determine if you wanted to give it a try or not, so you can see it work before you buy. Thanks for watching, guys, and this was the DecoArt Pouring Top Coat. Have a great night. Bye now.